is a function notation question. And we're only going to do the second part. If you're stuck on the first part, it's going to be really similar. In this particular question, the only difference is instead of subtracting, you're adding. But I'm doing the second part because this subtraction can be a little bit extra tricky. So let's go through this carefully. First thing we're going to do is rewrite the, uh, there's two parts to this, one, two. So we're going to do them separately and then subtract them. So we'll start with f of negative 3. So wherever you see an x up here, you're going to replace it with negative 3. So I just did a really lazy job of replacing x with negative 3 because mathematically, some of these things don't make sense. For example, right here, it looks like I'm subtracting, but I should be multiplying. So you have to wrap that in parentheses. The other thing is I need to make sure I'm squaring negative 3. So I also have to wrap that value of negative 3 in parentheses. And from here, so we have negative 3 squared is positive 9. But there's still that extra negative sign. You could think of this, there's, you're squaring the negative. So there's really two negatives because it's negative 3 times negative 3 with an extra negative outside. So there's really three negatives being... Uh, multiplied together. So two of them cancel. You're left with one more. Now we got six times three is 18. There's one negative, two negatives. They're going to cancel out to give me positive 18. And you still have that minus one. If you're bad at addition like I am, sometimes it's easier to combine these two values together. So negative nine plus negative one is negative 10. Plus 18 is positive 8. So that's f of negative 3. Next up, we're going to do f of 2. So we just took care of that part. Now we're taking care of this part, f of 2. 2 is positive, so I don't necessarily need so many parentheses, but you're about to see that they're going to come in handy anyways. So we got negative 2 squared minus 6. You can't just write 6, 2 next to each other because it looks like 62. So make sure you have to have parentheses right there, so you know you're multiplying, minus 1. When I see negative 2 squared, I don't know if it is the whole negative 2 squared or just 2 squared and then make it negative. In our case, it's 2 squared and then make it negative. That's what it looks like up here because that x is turning into negative 2. Oh, positive 2. All right, 2 squared is 4. Bring the negative over. 6 times 2 is 12, bring that negative, negative 12 minus 1. So right here, we have negative 4 minus 12 is negative 16 minus 1, negative 17. All right, so last step, we're going to put them together. f of negative 3 minus f of 2. And this is going to be f of negative 3 is 8 minus negative 17 and we have 8 minus negative 17 you're actually adding and this should be 25 positive 25 here and that will be this value right there so that's the end of the problem i'm going to show you what a very common mistake is i'm switching to red So likely, if, you, uh, if you've got this wrong originally, this is most likely going to be your mistake. I'm going to kind of shortcut down. Well, I'll just write the first version of each of these. So that is f of negative 3. Now I'm going to go minus, and then I'll use this version of f of 2. So I use this version of f of negative 3. I'll use this version of f of 2. I don't know why I keep putting an mi extra minus sign in front of that 2, even as I say minus 6 times 2, minus 1. All right, so what's wrong with what I just wrote? Well, if I want to make it right, I need to subtract this whole thing. And I'm going to go ahead and add an extra parentheses in here. So this in the first parentheses is f of negative 3 minus f of positive 2. So this would be the correct way to do it. 
most common mistake is not to have those last parentheses. Once you add those parentheses in, this negative sign right here applies to all three terms. It turns them all positive in this case. So that has a big effect. That extra parentheses has a very big effect on the uh, value you get here.